Right, here we are, Crook's Peak. No one's standing on the top at the moment. Like I said, the hook bit used to have like a beak. I said it on the other video, I think. I just had a nice little walk with some ponies. They were really friendly and lovely and woolly. Yeah, I didn't go up straight up the top this time. I thought I'd um, just have a look round. You get different views. Shoot Shelf Hill right over there. Waverly down over there with some ponies on. Lots of ponies. Um, that's Sand Sanford Quarry over there, and you go across that, and then you go up the other side to right over there. You've got. Um, Rowbower Hill Fort, which will be right up there, look. That's Rowbower Hill Fort in the distance there. There. That's the top of Rowbower Hill Fort there. There's the ramparts going around. And I've done that quite a few times, loads of times. And and the woods, of course, Rowbower Woods. I've got all got to catch up. I've Well, it's been a good break, actually, because... It's given me time to catch up on family tree work. <sighs> yeah, it's given me time to catch up. <clears throat> yeah, there's various ways up here. I can just climb up through here. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's our beautiful Somerset countryside, everyone. Banwell Hill Fort over there. Again, I'll just take a... I might not be able to do video on the top because there might be people up there, but see that big tree? I've touched that tree. That's on top of the Banwell Hill Fort. But there are cows in that field. Um, but there's the plateau. And then you've got the woods down below, the private woods. Like I said, people are coming all the time, so it's not easier to video. There'll be people having a picnic up the top here now. There we go, it's a lovely view of that, isn't it? Lovely view. Let me take a picture over in a minute. Right, leaving Crook's Peak now. I've just walked down the edge here. The highest point is just around the corner there. I'm not going to try and go through the gorse. So there probably is a pathway, but I'm not going to risk it. Like I've got done that twice before and come out a cropper, but this is probably the best time of year to do it. But I'm not going to risk it. So I'm just doing a bit of videoing because there are quite a few people on the top. I've videoed this so many times, everyone. I've been coming here since I was a... When was the first time I come here? Oh, I don't know. I could have been about 15 or 16 or 14 even. It was always a spooky place. because of the story of the woman found after many years in the uh, undergrowth. Yeah, little figures, look. Don't know what it says. You have to look from a distance, I think, to see these symbols. Somebody said some of them. When I came up here last, that's right, there was a very Italian bloke and he was really upset because they, he said, these are phallic symbols. Here's a little circle of stones here, look. See?
There's a great possibility I might be in Banwell Woods. I'm not going to bother with the hill fort because there's cows on there. Um, but I might go and try and walk in the middle of the woods while it's bare because you can see more. So that might be a thing. I'm, going, I'm hoping to get on my bike possibly tomorrow and do a Wick St. Lawrence or even a bit of strawberry line. I haven't decided yet. Um... <coughs> The only thing about the strawberry line, until the kids go back to school, it's going to be jam-packed. Um, that's what I imagine it to be. So I'm leaving Crook's Peak now. I've been up the top there. Ponies around, foraging. And I'm... Now heading off Crook's Peak. I've decided I didn't want to take the track down just in case because on two occasions I've got stuck in brambles but it is does look to be a lot easier I could have come down through there for example <sighs> but then I wouldn't have got that lovely shot of that pony if I'd done that so I've had a bit of a picnic I've had a bit of stilton a bit of cheddar some tomatoes, um, a yogurt bar, a fruit yogurt bar. It's like a biscuit crunchy thing. And of course, earlier I was right up there. There's Winscombe over there. There's some ponies. And um, let me just point a few. Yeah, Banwell Wood, um, the plantation. That right over there, that's the plantation that I walk round. That's another private little wood. That you can walk round, or it could be the one on the edge there. I'll be over that side. I'll be on the West Mendip Way going the, just the other side of those fields. There's a path at the top. Right over to, to I get to a copse right on the top, right over there. But before I do all that, I'll be going to the village of Loxton, over there. I always stop, and if the church is open, I'll, I'll usually go in. And I don't know whether it will be because of a lockdown, but it's possible. Hello. Hello, pony. You look lovely. Look at your lovely coat, darling. You look gorgeous. Yes, you do. You've got some lovely grass to eat. So this is quite a steady path going down. I've got to be careful with these boots on. Um, I've slipped ma mainly with these on. Um, even when they were brand new, they were no good at grip. Absolutely useless at grip. They're still pretty tough for walking in though. They're not waterproof. They will resist a bit. But mainly they're... Um, but they're alright for dry walking. They're fine for dry walking. They do. There is a lot of support for the foot. But gripping and dryness is a one of those issues that you know of course you can walk all the way around there is a path that goes all the way around back to the church which I haven't done yet I haven't done that route yet but I do intend to do it at some point it's just getting out here really and what with that I have so many walks really to do uh, some might leave this year and have a year off from them, which is a good thing as well. Otherwise, you do get into a bit of a rut with walks, even though they're always beautiful, of course.
It's a bit muddy and slippery here. I have to be very careful. Because if you fall in it, you bum on a stone. Now what happened to me the other week over Sand Bay, I slipped at, and I had my mobile phone in my back pocket. It, fortunately, it's a, a hard, it's a little tiny one with a very tough shell. So it didn't get damaged at all, but it really dug into my hip. And um, I, I had some issues with that hip for since, since. It's eased up a bit now. I've been putting the heat pads on it. They always work. There's the motorway, busy motorway, it's supposed to be locked down. Now, the, the very first lockdown we ever had, you could hardly hear the motorway. And not only that, not only could you hardly hear it, you wouldn't see hardly cars, it was mainly lorries. It was mainly lorries. So I have got to be careful going down here because it's not always safe to walk on the grass actually either. The grass can be slippery. Oh, that's a nice little bird. I wonder what that is. Well, it's not that small a bird. Oh, it's got a... It's a let, me, let me zoom in. Oh, it's flown away. It has like a yellowish, orangey tinge to it. Some sort of finch, I expect. Right, so I'll be over there eventually. You've got um, Christon over there, which has got a lovely little church that I've been in. You've got a lovely walk up through some woods over there, which will be great when the bluebells are out. I'm going to do that one definitely again. That was beautiful. That was absolutely gorgeous. Um, going up through that V-shaped wood there. I first did it on my bicycle because I will do some cycles but I won't cycle in cold wind um, and I still need to get some jelly pants of course because uh, I want I did a cycle to Glastonbury last year and it was almost fatal really because You know, it was a saddle sore business. So there's Banwell Wood there. I've just come down from up there. I'm going to turn off now, folks, for, for a minute.